My name is Alistair Lee. In this short video, I'm going to walk through adding a custom pod to your Adobe Connect meeting room. The first step, of course, is to find a custom pod that you'd like to use. There are a number available up on the adobe.com website. You can find them by clicking on this extensions link from the Adobe Connect product page on adobe.com. Alternatively, we have created a short link that you can use. If you type in www.adobeconnect.com slash extensions, that will take you directly to a page with all of the different types of extensions that are available for Adobe Connect. Now these include some application integration extensions. If you want to integrate Adobe Connect with a learning management system or something like salesforce.com, event management integration extensions, what we're looking for is uh, further down the page, and it's a custom meeting pods section. And these custom meeting pods are basically Flash applications that you can run inside of an Adobe Connect meeting room. And these were all built with the Adobe Connect Software Development Kit, or the SDK. And what that means is that they're aware of the Adobe Connect room, that they can uh, interact with multiple participants in the Connect room, that they can change based on your role, so they're, they're really aware that they're running inside of a meeting. There are lots to choose from here. A lot of them are free, not all of them. Uh, some of them will take you to a partner site where you can purchase them if they're not free. I'm going to select one here that I created a little while ago. This is something called Twitter Connect. I'm going to go ahead and click on the image. And it brings up a page with the license information. This one is free. Uh, as well as a button to download it. So I'm going to go ahead and download that to my local file system. Now it really doesn't matter where we put it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, add it just to my downloads directory. Uh, and you'll notice that it is a Swift file. Basically it's a Flash file. And all of these will either be Flash files or zip files. And Adobe Connect Meetings support both file formats. So if it does download as a zip file, uh, all you need to do is probably just upload that zip file directly to Adobe Connect. You do not need to unzip it or uncompress it. So now that I've got that downloaded, I'm going to switch over to Adobe Connect. Here's my Adobe Connect meeting room. I'm actually using a flash file as the, the background wallpaper for my meeting room as well. It's one of the uh, supported formats. But to add this custom pod, I'm going to need a new share pod. I'm going to just upload it the same way I'd upload a PowerPoint document, a PDF document, or any other supported file type. So I'm going to go to the pods menu, click on share, and add a new share pod and it has automatically sized that for my screen. It's taken up pretty much all of the available real estate. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and just drag the corner here to make that a little smaller for my Twitter pod. Put it right in the middle of the stage. Uh, and I've actually got two options here. I can go ahead and use this dropdown to share a document and then browse my computer uh, for that specific document. I think that'll be Under A. Lee, I've got my downloads folder, and there's Twitter Connect. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up, and that'll load right up into my uh, share pod. The other option, actually, is to simply drag and drop. If I go ahead and stop sharing that, uh, you'll notice that you can simply drag and drop any supported file type right onto a blank share pod, and that'll upload it in just the same way. So now I've got this Twitter pod. It's, it's ready to go. Now, this pod, like many of the other custom pods, will respect things like the sync button. So this pod actually works differently depending on whether it is synchronized or not. When it's synchronized, the host determines the, the search term. Uh, when it's unsynchronized, participants are able to enter their own search terms. And so these custom pods might offer some uh, different functionality based on how they were developed. That's a quick look at downloading custom pods for Adobe Connect and using them in your meeting room. Thanks for watching.